In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import the SVG files from 3dsvg.com, also known as Dreaming Tree, into your Silhouette Studio library. Now this does require Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and above, which would be Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, Silhouette Studio Designer Edition Plus, and Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Now I am in Business Edition, but this does apply to all the three mentioned earlier. If you do need assistance with downloading and unzipping your file, we do have an additional tutorial located on our website in the Help Files section at 3dsvg.com. This tutorial will assume that you have already unzipped those files. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on the Library tab in the upper right hand corner of Silhouette Studio. And if you are not already logged in, it will ask you to log in. And you'll notice that in this case, my folder is empty because I do not currently have anything in here. And on the bottom left, it would be syncing. Now this is accessing the Silhouette Studio Cloud. So anytime you do save something here, it is accessible on another computer. So on the left hand side, you're going to see all files. Now all files are every file that you have in your library. You can do favorites. If I had downloaded any fonts, the fonts would be there. The folder we're going to use is designs and I'm going to go and in into user designs. Now to keep things nice and organized, I'm going to do two steps here. And so if I click on user designs, I'm going to now right click and create new folder. And as you can see, this is highlighted and it's going to allow me to enter a name for the folder. And for this folder, I am going to call it dreaming tree. And I can hit enter. And so for this folder, I will keep all of my dreaming tree related files. And in this example, I am going to do the acorn truffle box. So additionally, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder, which would create a subdirectory within this folder. And I'm going to be working on the acorn truffle box. So now I have under user designs, I have my dreaming tree folder and then the actual folder of the project I'm going to work on. Now this process is the same regardless if you're using a PC or a Mac. In this instance, I am using a Mac, so I will be using Finder. If you are on a PC, you will want to go ahead and use File Explorer. So I have my SVG folder pulled up. I have mine on my documents and I'm going to click on my SVG folder. And as you can see, my acorn truffle box is located on my file folder here. And I'm going to go into that and then I'm going to go into my SVG file. Now I'm just going to move this down so that we can see this a little better. Now all I need to do is drag my mouse over all of the files and then bring them up into this window. And now I'm done using Finder. And I can go ahead and close that out. If you were using File, file Explorer, you can go ahead and close that out also. And so now in my directory, it says acorn truffle box five, which represents the number of files that are in this bundle. And to get these onto my mat, I just need to double click it. And now it is on my mat. Now, the last thing you will need to do, and it depends on the edition and the version that you're using, you will want to make sure that these, the cut lines are turned on. In this case, mine are on because it is represented all of the lines are highlighted in red. If they weren't, you would just click on the object to highlight it and click on cut. Now, the only other step you would need to do is select your material, your tools that you were using, and then click send at the very bottom. You'll do this for each and every element in the design. So I would go back to library and I would click on the next one. My element is on the mat. I'm going to click send. I will make sure that 
the cut lines are turned on and my material setting is correct and click send. Click on my library, click on the next design, click send, confirm that everything is highlighted, and then I can click send at the very bottom. You will notice if you click on the design tab here that every time I opened a new element, it did create a new tab at the top, so if I needed to go back, I can go back and see prior uh, elements that I had opened. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining me today, and have a great day.